So we have a set W. This is actually a subset of Rn, and we're asked to prove it's a subspace of Rn. So recall that W is a subspace of a vector space V if we have three conditions. The first condition is that W is non-empty. So there has to be something in there. There has to be a vector in W. Two, uh, W is closed under uh, what's called vector addition. So symbolically, that means given any two vectors in W, the sum uh, also has to reside inside W. Again, this is called closure under vector addition. And then three, uh, given any vector in W and given any scalar C, in a field. Now, in this case, our field is going to be the real numbers, so I'll go ahead and put the real numbers here. Whenever this happens, we have a new vector. It's called the scalar product. So it's the scalar C times the vector x. And this new vector is in W. So we have non-empty, closed under vector addition, and then closed under um, scalar products. If all three conditions hold, then W is a subspace of V. So let's carefully go through this and show that this set here, W, is actually a subspace. So proof. So I'll number the steps. So one, we have to show that W is not empty. So you have to think of a vector uh, that's in this set. So what does it mean to be in this set? It means that when you add up the components of your vector, you get zero. So the easiest choice uh, is this one. So zero, dot, 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 zero. This guy is in W. Right, because if you add up all of the components of this vector, you get zero plus zero plus zero dot 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 etc. And there's n copies of zero, but zero plus zero is simply zero. So no problems there. So this shows that W is non-empty. For the second condition, we have to take two vectors in W and show that the sum is also in W. That's this one here. So take any, and I'll go ahead and, and just write them like this. So I guess we could use x and y. So take x1 dot 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 x sub n and y1 dot 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 y sub n in w. Then let's go ahead and write down what this means. This means that the sum of the components of the first vector is 0 and the sum of the components of the second vector is also 0. And so now we have to look at uh, the new vector. What happens when we add these? So then x1 dot 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 xn. Let's examine what this is. And how do you add these vectors? Well, you just add the components, right? The addition is just the regular addition that takes place in Rn. So this is going to be x1 plus y1, comma, dot, 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 x sub n plus y sub n. And in order to show this is in W, we have to show that if we add the components of this vector, uh, it's also uh, 0. Well, this will be in W since, let's go ahead and verify it here. Let's, let's see. It should work. If not, we're in trouble. <laughs> Uh, so this is xi plus yi, where we're, add, we're adding up all the components, and you can break the sum up as the sum from 1 to n of x sub i plus the sum from 1 to n of y sub i. And the first sum here, this is, this is 0, right? So this is 0, and this sum here, uh, it's also 0, so 0 plus 0 equals 0. So that vector is indeed in W, and so W is closed under vector addition, right? This here, this here, let me use a different color. This was our X, and this here, this was our Y. So we took any X and Y, and then we looked at X plus Y, and we showed it was in W because the sum of the components was 0. That's exactly what it means to be in W, right? A vector is in W if the sum of the components is 0. And the third one is to show that it's closed under uh, scalar multiplication. So I guess I'll use x, x again. So take any x1. You can, you know, you can do these uh, 
these two steps here at the same time pretty much but uh, I figured let me just really do them individually so you see that there are two different criteria that we have to check so take any vector in W and scalar C and R and as before we're, we're gonna write down what it means for this vector to be in W well it means that the sum of the components is 0 then we have to look at the new vector C times the vector right this is a new vector that's three dots really important <laughs> and how do you multiply a number times a vector in RN well you multiply the number right the scalar by each of the components so it's C X sub 1 dot 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 C X sub n and we have to show that this is a vector in W well it is let's go ahead and say it is and then verify it later this is since if we take the sum of the components of this vector it's c x sub i, i runs from 1 to n and we can factor out the c from the sum. This is c times the sum as i runs from 1 to n of x sub i. But this piece here this is 0 so this is c times 0 which is 0. That's exactly what it means for this vector to be in w. So we've shown all three conditions so w is a subspace of Rn. And again, went pretty fast through this, but trying to keep the video uh, length short. I hope that made sense.